And back flush is a brilliant technique when we've got really good samples or we need to speed things up. So we don't care about anything of a higher boiling point of that's in our matrix to our analytes of interest. So what will happen is when the oven ramp reaches a certain point, all of our compounds of interest have come off the separation column. All the high boilers will still be sat on the guard column at the front. Now what happens now is that there's a little valve and this opens up and carry gas flow is then pushed down the back flush line rather than through the inlet. This is then done at a, a higher flow. And because there's less back pressure within the guard column, a higher percentage of the flow travels up the guard column, back into the inlet and out via the split valve. This allows all of these high boiling point compounds, stuff that's really difficult to move through the system. It's not going on to our separation column. So it improves the life of your separation column. It also means that at the end of your ramp, you're not having to run big oven bake-outs uh, for 10, 15 minutes to make sure that everything's moved through the column and it's gone through your detectors. So again, it's keeping all your detectors and everything clean.